Aries. What you need to be aware of is represented by the Nine of Wands. This card depicts a powerful feminine energy standing at the top of a hill defending her ground. This card is all about protecting what is yours, whether that be physical, emotionally, mentally or spiritually. It's about having boundaries, knowing where your line in the sand is and having and honouring that. The feminine on this card is also dressed in armour. She is prepared to fight. There is a full moon behind her which is also feminine energy and is about receiving, not taking action. Now might not be a time for taking action, but it's definitely about holding your position. Your obstacle is the strength card, another powerful divine feminine energy and another full moon in the background. The next full moon might be significant for you. Your obstacle is to believe in yourself, what you deserve and what you are capable of. Don't underestimate what you are made of or that you are being guided to stand strong in regards to a situation. In the past, the Knight of Wands in reverse. I feel like in the past you possibly leapt into things without much thought or purpose. You may have acted from your emotions and impulses as we have another feminine on this card. With this card in reverse, I feel like you have learnt your lesson and will be more cautious before taking action in the future. In the future position, the Eight of Swords. This is a card of self-imposed restrictions, but you're taking your power back. If you have been up in your head, you are gaining clarity. The Divine Feminine on this card is removing the blindfold and walking through the gate, setting herself free. One sword is in front of her as she will no longer be afraid to cut things out of her life that aren't serving her. Let's grab an Oracle card for Aries. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. And I'll just read this one for you from the book. It's impossible for the human brain to comprehend the mysteries of the universe. You are only consciously aware of the three dimensions for a reason, and that is to learn to love without the full awareness of your connection to spirit. Everyone has his or her own personal path to this awareness. And there is no right or wrong answer as long as your goal is to manifest the energy of love and compassion. The wisdom of the divine trickles into the physical dimension and some of it will resonate with your soul and some of it will not. These are your signposts that guide you to your correct path. If the wisdom resonates with you and seems right, then keep it. If not, release it back to the universe. Always be aware and mindful of the insights that your spirit guides and teachers put on your path. That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope something in this reading resonates for you.